I know my cycle is approaching. It is actually late. So. Good morning, y'all, and welcome to the last week of the Darling Body Fitness Program. It is Monday, November 9th. And as of yet, as of today, I have not uploaded episode five of the Darling Body of the Darling Body Fitness Program of Faithful Fitness Friday. Um, it's been a busy weekend. I had stuff to do on Friday, had stuff to do on Saturday, and had stuff to do on Sunday. So I do apologize to anyone who was looking forward to week four. I mean, week five and week five was, I think, my most terrible week yet even on my worst even if I had a previous terrible week week five was my most emotional terrible week like I do like I said I do apologize to those who are looking forward to it and um hopefully I can get it up by today I want to get it up anyway just so I can make sure I have all my episodes documented at least for myself especially because I don't want to lose the footage um, I'm gonna try to get it up today. I am exercising today. I'm back on my regimen, and uh, hopefully, I will feel a little bit better this week. So, my plan is to do cardio today on my actual break, okay? And that's at like 12 30. Then, I want to do overtime today. So, remember last time when I clock out clocked out for a minute and then clock back in so that's what i'm gonna do today as well i'm about to eat a banana I do have a banana here my food intake this weekend was horrible i had like like you seen well like you you haven't seen yet okay so on friday i had a seafood platter from my favorite restaurant my favorite seafood spot then i had for breakfast on Saturday, what did I have? What did I have? Oh, oatmeal. So then my cousin's here, I had oatmeal. So that was good. But then I had the leftover seafood platter when I came back, like at night time. Sunday I had like spam, uh, spam egg and cheese. Pretty good for breakfast. And then last night we went out to dinner with my friends um, because I did a favor for a friend and then she treated us to dinner so I had a shrimp fried shrimp basket with french fries so I mean I only had two meals but you know it was pretty fat in it so anyway I'm gonna have a banana right now um I probably have a pack of oatmeal a little bit later because I just had coffee too so I'm not really that hungry right now and it's 7 30 but I'm gonna just keep working and I'll talk to y'all later Okay, my husband ended up making me another Spam egg and cheese sandwich. So good. So, I forgot, like, because he just came in and handed it to me, and I forgot to even pick up the camera. Um, so, that's what I had for breakfast. Um, spam, just like a, a cracked, one cracked egg with a slice of cheese on a sandwich. So good. Like, I never thought I would like Spam, but... It's so good. Like it tastes like bacon almost, but like very thick, like a mix between turkey bacon and pork bacon. So good. But we always get like the low sodium one because spam can be really high in sodium. But that's okay because I'll be chilling the rest of the day. I have quite a busy afternoon, so I don't expect to eat like a full meal again until dinner time. Anyway, I'll catch you on the day. All right, so it is 1.30, and I did do cardio on my break. Um, I went outside and did my usual jump ropes and ran up and down my steps. So I did it for 22 minutes, and I think I burned, it was like um, 140 calories or something like that. So then I came in and had some water, and now I'm eating a pickle just to give me something to snack on i think at two o'clock i'm gonna clock out 
and try to get as much of the program I can get done and then do a little bit of overtime. So I meant to tell y'all, I only got up to Skull Crushers, if you follow the Darling Body Fitness program. I only got up to, you get nine exercises, and I did about seven of the nine, basically. Um, so I didn't get to get to my abs or anything like that, but that's fine, because I can come back after doing my overtime and going to the market, I can come back and do that. Anyway, I'll see y'all, I guess, when I come back. I'm doing what I gotta do. Hey y'all, so I'm about to clock out in like five minutes, but I wanted to have a granola bar real quick. This is the Oats and Honey one um, by Sunbelt Bakery. It's 120 calories, so, I mean. All right, so we just got back from the market not too long ago, probably about like over an hour ago. And it is currently 6.19. Well, I just made my steps. Mm. But we're having dinner. A thought what is this a, a breast right a breast some chicken not chicken some rice shrimp and rice and a piece of corn I also have my fake soda lemonade all right for dessert I did have three donuts three powdered mini powdered donuts let me get that right before y'all think I sat here and ate three whole big donuts no I had three powdered donuts for dessert I'm sitting here currently trying to finish up last week's Faithful Fitness Friday, episode 5. So, sorry about that. Um, it's 8 o'clock now and I'm done like snacking. I'm done eating. I actually, this is about to export on iMovie and then I'm about to go and get washed. But anyway, I'm ending it right here and I will see y'all on Tuesday. Bye. Good morning, y'all. Welcome to Tuesday, November 10th the second day of the last week the sixth week this is the sixth episode y'all my face is a little shiny because i washed my face and put on vitamin e oil so that's probably glistening this morning i did have a cup of coffee um and that helped me over and right now i'm eating some french toast crunch i think it's called one of my favorite cereals um, I barely eat cereal like that. If I do, it's probably like Honey Nut Cheerios with a banana or something. You know, I'm about to go get my banana too. I got one more. That's probably about to go bad. I do want to talk to y'all later about just the past episodes and like what's been going on with me. But I'm going to talk to y'all like on a personal tip. And just let y'all know like how I felt like during this time frame and the struggles that I went through. And um, I'm still going through as far as including fitness into my everyday lifestyle into my everyday like it's very hard but anyway i'm gonna keep that for later um because i feel like my episodes have been very like emotional and and i know that that's probably not what people were expecting but i just want to give everyone the real and raw me of how i'll be feeling like during the week but anyway like i said i'm gonna keep that for later i'm just gonna go ahead and eat my cereal kids just started school i'll see y'all in a bit Alright y'all, so I just came back from Wawa and picking up something from Dollar Tree. Um, we had got like milkshakes and stuff for the kids and I got like a little, I wanted to try the new French toast latte or something like that. So I got that. Um, I'm about to do something before I get into the program. I wanted to hang my stuff up on here. This little rack. Um, so that's what I'm going to do real, really quickly because I've been wanting to do that. So I'm going to do that. So while I'm doing this, I would thought it would be a good time to talk about what I want to talk about earlier. Um, when I said, like, I would just want to talk about, like, my feelings and stuff. Like, so, I've been on this program. This is, you know, we've been on this program for, like, five weeks now, and it's the last week. So, you know, it's been really hard for me to, it's been really hard for me to not eat because, um, you know, prior to this program, um, when I Eight, I felt better if that makes sense like um 
you know, I have pleasure in knowing that I could get, eat what I want to eat and drink what I want to drink. And, you know, and that just helped me get through, you know, tough times. So, now it's like me trying not to eat. Like, for instance, like, my job is quite boring, you know, and, you know, everyone's home. And it can be a little stressful. You have heard me say plenty of times that I particularly, I particularly don't like my job. I don't. I feel like it just, it just, it just drains me. It, it drains me mentally. Where I feel like at the end of the day, I have nothing left to give. Um, so it was hard for me. Like in the beginning of the workouts, I felt like I was on fire, you know, and I felt like I was being consistent. Then things started happening. Things started coming up, you know. Um, in, in inconveniences started to happen and it just started to throw me off see one thing about me is like I like order I like order I like order so it's like when I when my day gets thrown off it's hard for me to recuperate from that um, when I get irritated it's hard for me to recuperate from that that's why I like the last like couple weeks I just been, I just felt so emotional like just so like out of the zone like not being able to work out and I know it's like this is like this is supposed to be like a fitness journey and it is because it's a it it's it's a lifestyle change. Like what I'm used to, if I'm if I'm bored at work and work is getting on my nerves, then I eat, you know? I satisfy that by just eating and that's just that. But me trying to say no, me trying to turn down is the hardest thing, you know? Like, I feel like I'm trying to handle everything. Like I feel like I'm trying to balance every single thing like trying to work like how like i'm a mother okay i'm a wife i'm an employee i'm an individual you know me myself i'm a sister i'm a friend i'm a stepmother um sometimes i have to be a teacher um it's like i just have all these roles to fill that i'm trying to fill and it's just, it just feels like it's just unattainable. You get what I'm saying? Like, I try to, at the end of the day, you know, I have to spend some time with God. Um, I have to spend some time with my children. I have to spend some time with my husband. I have to spend some, whatever I have left on myself, you know, and spend some time with friends or re reach out to friends, have family, spend some time with them or, you know, think about them like you, you, you get what I'm saying like it just seems like it's just a little bit too much I'm a little overwhelmed I really am and at the end of my work day it's like I have to do something where at some point I have to do something that where 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 it's beneficial to me if that makes sense like um, I have to be able to express my creativity in some way. Like, I give this company eight hours of my day. Eight hours of my day. Eight hours of my most productive time. And at the end of the day, I have to be able to say, you know what? Well, at least I get to spend some time with myself right now, you know? And it just seems like I get the end of it, the tired part, you know? Because by the end of it all, I don't want to do anything. Like... I want to go to bed, but I don't want to go to bed. I want to be, work on me, work on what I want to do, you know? And I know it's like, you have to be strong. You have to sacrifice that time. You have to lay out a plan. I'm trying to lay out a plan. I'm so, like, a scheduled person that, like, when someone throws me off, it's just, it's hard to bounce back. Like, it really is. I don't know. That's all I wanted to talk about. That's all I wanted to talk to you about. It's going on nine minutes. Hopefully, I can shorten this. When I go back to edit it, hopefully it won't be as long. Um, but that's all I want to talk about. I'm going to get this done. I saw you from across the room. When I rest, met, I never knew that I could feel this way. And it's kind of strange.
All right, y'all, I'm done with the program tables. Lay there, I didn't do no abs. Um, I already know how I feel about that. That just makes me nauseous, so. For dinner, we are having like, like taking a Hawaiian roll, the Hawaiian, Hawaiian rolls, I'm putting some cheese steak and cheese, and uh, not cheese steak, steak and cheese and stuff. Make, basically making like little cheese sticks or something like that. So that's what we're having for dinner with like some air fried french fries. Um, I think I did pretty good all day. The biggest thing I had was the shake or the latte. I don't know how much sugar they had. But, you know, I drank water all day. So, it is what it is. I think I'm about to just get washed down before the time is 5.30. Um, then it'll be dinner time and I'll show you what we made. Hey y'all, good morning. It is October, October. It is November 11th. Today is Wednesday, the third day of the sixth week. And I forgot to turn the camera when I ate breakfast. Um, I was a little distracted because I had to make my, I had to make me something to eat and the kids didn't turn off today. Um, but I did, we did have turkey bacon, egg and cheeses on um, an English muffin. That's what we had for breakfast. They had a hash brown. I had like, some grits to go alongside with that. So it was really good. Um, like I said, they all they are off today. And um, today is raining today, so it seems like a day that I won't be outside. It's a little chilly. The week is almost over. I feel like I'm closer to the end of the week than I am the beginning, which is always good. <laughs> I'm not even going to say what I plan on having for lunch because it never works out. And this battery is about to die. It's the same battery from yesterday so anyway um i will check back in a couple hours or so hey y'all so i wanted to come on really quickly give an update on my day um to be honest today has not been a good day for me as far as eating um it's one of the days where i don't feel like myself and i think it's because it's about to be that time of month any woman can relate to me when I say that you have those days where you feel like you don't feel like yourself and it's hard to like turn down food. So I said it to say as far as eating, today was not a good day for me. I had my breakfast sandwich, you know. I had the grits to go with it. Then I turned around and had an extra slice of bacon. <laughs> and then for lunch I had some chips and then I had a couple of powdered donuts and a cup of coffee so it just it just has not been a good day I feel like it's tired but last night I got good sleep because I went to bed earlier earlier than I normally do so I don't understand why I'm so tired it's raining all day it was a dreary day um but I just feel depleted so right after work not immediately immediately but soon after work i did not do any workouts which who knows if i will even still to this day i mean to the, at this time because it's already going on five o'clock but i did come in my basement and start bible study which is something i rarely do after work because i felt like i needed god right now like i needed a good word i needed some encouragement some uplifting um, I, I just needed it because of the mindset I'm in, the, this thinking, thinking that I'm in, and this, this is how I am a lot of the time, not majority of the time, but a lot of the time. This is how Monique is, um, and I think that my job plays a role in that anyway just wanted to give you an update i'm about to go handle some business as far as household stuff um i just feel good to have done bible study it just felt good anywho i'll talk to y'all later
Are we want some cucumber? Like I said, I'm gonna end it right here and I will see y'all tomorrow on Thursday. Hey y'all, good morning. Welcome to the fourth day of the today is Thursday, right y'all? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um today's November 12th and it is currently almost 8:30. Kids about to start school and I'm about to have breakfast. I am having the same thing I had yesterday that I did not show y'all, which is grits and a turkey bacon, egg and cheese on the English muffin. Oh, she's gonna go get some water. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to show y'all since I did not show y'all yesterday, I had some leftover turkey bacon. I just don't feel like a warm breakfast lately. I'll talk to y'all in a bit. Alright y'all, so it's 1.30 and I am having some lunch or a snack. Um, I had some chips earlier, so... But it's just, this is just mini cucumbers and ranch. I don't really prefer these mini cucumbers. You know what? I'm gonna put some seasoning on them. And then after work, I had to take my cousin to the market and run a few errands. So, so we do after work. Probably not immediately after work, but like a short time after. Oh, we, okay, we're about to eat dinner. Um, so I'm gonna show you. Okay, so we're about to eat. It is now 6 what, 30? And this is dinner. Pork chop, mashed potatoes, with cornbread, and broccoli. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Cook tonight. You're welcome. We're gonna say our grace and say Alright, so today is booty day, but I'm not gonna do cardio. I'm just gonna get into the booty day because I had to help my cousin this afternoon and I'm tired I'm spent so but I'm gonna do booty day though because I actually enjoy booty day <laughs> you know why but I just got done eating and I had to straighten up a little bit so that's all I do Today is the last day of the Dollar Body Fitness program. Today, the end of the day concludes the sixth week. Now, some people may go ahead over the weekend, but I'm not personally. Um, so my the end of the program for me, at least, is today. And today is November 13th, and today is Friday. So welcome to Faith Fitness Friday. Um, so yeah, I start at 7.30 and I'm about to eat breakfast. I have a uh, English muffin with a cut up banana and a cup of coffee. So I feel, uh, I, I went to sleep early last night. I, I feel like I went to sleep early last night. However, um, I still feel slightly tired because I know my cycle is approaching. It is actually late. So... But no, 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 because my tubes is tied, honey. My they snip, clipped, and fried. Okay, um, so no, no, no. But I did expect it a little bit earlier than this. Um, I'm a little nervous. What's going on? I feel like it's just gonna come on today because it's the weekend. But if it does, it is what it is. Um. I hope that it won't. I hope it waits until Monday. But yeah, like I'm just, I'm just excited that I'm just excited about this whole program because I know I'm gonna restart it. Um, like I'm, I'm gonna redo it. And like the information is mine to keep 
so i just feel like this was just like a nudge in the right direction you get what i'm saying like i've never did a program before i never did a, i never was this consistent in exercising even though i've been inconsistent but i've never been this consistent in exercising and um i feel like this was just the right nudge in the right direction this has set up you know a path for me and i'm just so grateful Ooh, excuse me i'm just so grateful that i was able to share this all with you guys but i'm gonna talk about i'm gonna talk about this whole experience um and going forward a little bit later probably in another video i think like when i do like a like how i felt about it or whatever um yeah so look forward to that and i'm just gonna eat my breakfast right now and i'll follow up with you guys later like i usually do all right y'all so i just got off i am gonna do overtime today even though it's friday i usually don't do overtime but um i'm gonna get it done today just a little bit like i always do so i'm gonna go out and um do some cardio even though it's hella cold outside but that's what i'm gonna do i did have some snacks today i didn't have a meal and the reason why sometimes, sometimes I do forget to record, um, but a lot of the times I don't want to influence or encourage anyone to eat the wrong things or, you know, so I do tell y'all, you know, the things that I have eaten, but it's like, I don't want someone, someone who's, you know, on a fitness program to be watching my video and see me eating, um, you know, some chips or something and think, well, I'm gonna go eat chips too. Like, I don't want to cause someone to stumble, um, or to, you know, backtrack or anything like that. So most of the time, I do forget to even pick up the camera. But some of the time as well, I think like I don't want anyone to backtrack or look at. You know, I, I I'm being honest with what I'm eating, but I don't have to show it to be like, look at what I got. See, this is what I'm gonna eat. You know, all the time. So anyway, I did have some chips and two pickles. Um, so that wasn't bad so that's what i had and like i said now i'm about to go outside and get some cardio in i think tonight my husband my nephew's supposed to be coming over um my nephew's supposed to be coming over so i think they may, this may be like a takeout night um yeah so i think we're gonna get pizza or something like that i'm gonna try to vlog as much as i can up to that point if we don't eat too late because I want to get this vlog up tonight. I don't want to have to do it tomorrow. Um, so you know how if I eat dinner at like 6 o'clock. I can edit that footage. And get it uploaded by a little later in the even, evening. Rather than eating dinner at like 8. Trying to record that footage. And then waiting longer and longer to get it up. You get what I'm saying? So that's what I'm trying to do. But let me hurry up. Because I only have a short amount of time. I only clock out for a short amount of time. Before I clock back in to do the overtime so i'll catch y'all outside Alright y'all, I did 16, almost 17 minutes of cardio at, and then burned 110 calories outside. It's such a beautiful day. I thought it was actually really, really cold, but it feels much colder in the house than it does outside, so that's why I thought it was cold. But uh, yeah, what a beautiful day. So now I'm about to go clock back in and uh, finish up some overtime. Alright y'all, so we've been walking for like the last half an hour yeah. um we did like a family walk there's everyone else yeah. and um and my here. yeah our cousin my nephew came the kid's cousin came so i just wanted to get some video footage real quick because we walked like around our 
neighborhood kind of like not really around our neighborhood but like wall we way down the street came all the way back around and stuff like that then we stopped at the chicken place and got some fried chicken and fried shrimp so that's what's gonna be for dinner no wait i'm some chicken for lunch oh guess you have a chicken for lunch probably with some uh oodles and noodles right yeah probably with some oodles and noodles and uh yeah so it's been well over a half an hour or like 40 minutes so it's been like it's like 4 40 i think 4 30. <laughs> it's yeah so see you get in the house it's a one drop house off the plane gonna open it all right y'all so the last clip you seen was dinner like you know you seen it was some fried shrimp um and some air fried french fries i know i've been eating a lot of fried food lately and you know like i said i've just been in this in this funk but this don't last always you get what i'm saying like i may eat i may have a bout with fried food and then i'll go back to you know more clean healthy eating um, I'm not really like we don't if I do eat fried food I don't eat that much of it you know like if it was not fried if that makes sense so um at the end of the day it is what it is like I'm not gonna make things harder on myself if that's what is available that's what I'm going to eat because you know I don't I don't want to make it more difficult than what it is so it's already six o'clock and being as though we had like that long walk today like we literally walked a long ways um which was over a half an hour so i'm gonna give myself a chill day i want to actually get into some bible study now so i'm gonna get into that and then i have to do my nails because i'm doing hair tomorrow so i want to get that done too so um the kids are upstairs playing together with their cousin so i just really want to get that done and just relax because that's what i need you know i just need a moment to relax be in god in, in, the, in the presence of god and also do something that makes me feel good you know which is my nails regardless if i was doing here tomorrow anyway i would do my nails but i wouldn't be as pressed to do my nails and um yeah so faithful fitness friday ends right here i thank y'all so much for going on this journey with me please stay tuned to the next video um i don't know it'll be right after faithful fitness friday but i'm gonna have a video like a sit down video coming up just describing like what i've learned during this first mm, just to describe what i've learned in the last six weeks about myself and because this is my first workout program so i think it's a pretty big deal and i've learned a lot about myself so just stay tuned for that and thank you so much for rocking with me please make sure to like comment and subscribe if you're not already and yeah i will see y'all in the next video thank you so much i'll see y'all later